Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will talk about the unit eyes. As you know, the unit eyes, this is calling the, from the name unit, so we will count the units in our design. It's really important for our client because our client no wanna design the, on the first stage. He wanna count how much money he will get after we will create our units. So by this program we can calculate how many units we will get we will prepare it and we can get some data on the design stage if you are interesting so let's get started open up any project what you have let's say this is empty project as i have right now go to the edits and you will find here unitize the new tab so let's create the shape you can create messing form inside in place i mean messing in place or you can create independent one up to you let's create the one let's call it like block one and let's create our first shape i will go to the top view to better understand ways my building and let's create it like this i will select uh, my shape and i'll say this is need uh say have some height we get some height let's make it 90 meter so this is our building uh, now what we're gonna do we should finish our mess don't forget the finish mess and after that you should go to the manage and or i mean the edits and uh, choose the unitize once you will do that you will get this pop-up menu now you need the uh, use the mess selector to select your mess let's use the mess selector and select your mess done as you can see block one is here let's close it so now we get already some data we didn't do anything but we already get some data which data we have as you can see we have the total area we have the height of uh, total height of our building we have the mass mass efficiency as you can see this is 77 percent and we have the number of floors number cars and number of the units actually we can now uh, create the units let's create the units and you will get now generic models as these units it's need to give the time for that and as you can see now we stacked our units as you can see here is three cores one two three and here around we have like a one bedroom two bedroom and three bedroom if you want to change for example the bedrooms for example here is 25 percent of three bedrooms i want to disincrease i want to make it only 10 percent but total it should be always the uh, the hundred percent so if you will change something to the 10 and it's if it's not total the hundred percent this is the problem you should uh, you should manage it by yourself let's say i want to increase the studios as you can see total percentage is 15 percent so we should apply here 15 percent more so this is will be 40 percent let's do 40 percent and as you can see we get now 37 percent studios 28 the one bedroom 30, 26 uh, two bedroom and 11 uh, three bedrooms let's create the unit again just give you a second again the program will calculate it again and we will get the new result as you can see this is really pretty awesome because we get our three bedrooms on the corner on the side this is really a uh, really nice thing because uh, in real situation uh, i will do the same thing as you can see and this is pretty awesome so what we can do else with this program let's see on this side as you can see here the floor to floor height so it means from the finished floor to the finished floor here's three meters right uh, i'm not thin i mean the finished construction floor okay here three uh, three meters and uh, 20 centimeters uh, pretty awesome but let's say you want to make it a bit bigger mm, let's say our building is uh, we have like four meter once you will change it of course everything will recalculate it and let's create the units again so it will take the time again as you can see my mass fnc we now a bit loose 75 percent why because as you can see this is not enough for the one more floor i mean the for one more units and we lose it so this is pretty bad thing but this is real situation so uh our our height it's now um we should go to the elevation view but it doesn't matter we will change it to three meters is it will increase uh, mesh f mass fnc or no let's recalculate it again and uh, as you can see doesn't everything change because we still cannot place here the one more floor anyway what we can do else with this program uh as you can see here we have the stacked wall we can change this thing because now as you can see all the level or all the uh our bedrooms it's stacked one by one we can mix it up 
let's mix it up and as you can see if we will mix it up we will change the uh, percentage of our units as you can see we was have only 20, uh, 37 now it's 40 percent of our studio let's create the units and let's see how it looks like actually this is now more real uh, like in real world because uh, it's not always one by one stacked as you can see we get really mix it up on the last level because it's not going like that and as you can see we get more units so it's 579 units but as you know we for what what if uh, the first level starting not from the units like uh, in our world first level it's mostly starting from the retail or the parking so you can do that you should go to the settings and you will find here the retail let's change it to retail and let's apply the changes and let's go back now let's create the units and as you can see our first level now with retail this is pretty awesome because you no need manage it you can just change it in uh, this program and you will get the result anyway by this program you can already say to your client if we will do the building something like that you we will get approximately this is still approximately 560 units and he just can already calculate the budget so this is really a nice thing for you and for your client but what if you're building not just a block you're planning already to making different heights so here is the just i copied the my mess and now i want to change mess in place change it let's uh, i will select all my mess i will copy it i want to create one more uh, one more type of that and i will change the height of that and let's change the uh, length and as you can see we get something like that but as you can see we have like here the uh, the profile age of the other type of, of our of our mess you should join it so you shouldn't have something like that so now it's union one just i mentioned on that because you should have the one union mess form and let's create the finish our mess so once you will do that select uh, your block let's select it as you can as i did it right now and must already edit oh yeah so let's one edit one more time yeah now everything all right and let's create the units let's create the units as you can see i didn't change anything and we will see how much we have the mesh fnc and i think it will be the same 77 percent because we didn't change the thickness of our building what else this adding can do for you so let's go back to the settings so what you will find here the first you will find for example your standard it's different like one bedroom studio like corridor with it's different in your country you can go back to the settings and you can change manually to your own standards even if for example you want to change basement floor like it's not 3000 meters so, so the millimeters i mean maybe it's like six meters you can change it and you can change the top floor because sometimes top floor making the double story so all the settings you can change it right here in the under the settings but what if you're building not just like the simple uh, shape as we have right now so let's create the, a bit another shape like uh, let's i will change the for example the thickness of the our shape and i will change for example this is, will be a bit bigger and let's make it a bit smaller on that side so we get shape like that why, why not this is our design you should select your mess i already selected so let's i will do this one more time i will show you how it's work i will select the my mess it's here as you can see and let's create the units just give it time to calculate and you will see this program will even the rotate our units so this is also the nice thing it's not working only in one one way and as you can see we really losing this so much the space so we should work with our mess if you will select your mess just look here look on the mess i'm changing the thickness of the of my mess let's like that and you will see you will see it in real time so if you find this program it's useful for you go back to the website i will leave below the video the link 
and you can download it, use it, so you can get it for the try. Try trial version is working only seven days, but anyway, the seven days it will be pretty enough for you to understand. Do you need this program or no? For this tutorial is finished. Thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.